Howard Philip Lovecraft, or commonly referred to as H.P. Lovecraft, is an author I've recently grown an interest in over the last few months. This attraction of his works of horror have influenced me in numerous ways. I've purchased a book containing many of his writings, all the way to the creation of my Dungeons and Dragons campaign based around the Lovecraftian theme of the fear of the unknown and incomprehensible. From as far as I've read, one of the most powerful pieces in my opinion comes from Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu, and I'd like to share those specific lines with you. Of such great powers or being, there may be conceivably a survival. A survival of usually a remote period when consciousness was manifested, perhaps in shapes and forms long since withdrawn before the tide of advancing humanity. Forms of which poetry and legend alone have caught a flying memory and called them gods, monsters, mythical beings, and all sorts and kinds. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little. But some day, the piecing together of disassociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality and of our own frightful positions therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. The beginning to the Call of Cthulhu are lines which truly make me connect with my own phobia. It's quite interesting how this phobia is manifested. I personally love the ocean. There's something that the ocean has that I still view positively. Maybe it's the ecosystems within them, my love for the creatures that reside within it, like sharks, octopuses, and other animals which call the waters their home. My fear is not those beings. It's not the creatures that lie there. It's not the coral. It's not the seaweed. It's the fear of when you go deeper. So when you begin to go past the rays of sunshine and when there's just blue that begins to swarm around you in an almost endless environment. It's the darkness and hollowness of the sea and the void when you look down. This is a game called Depth. A cooperative player versus player game between divers and sharks. I can go hours playing this game. I don't fear playing it, at least not during the heat of playing. I can get lost in the mindset of gathering treasure, combating player controlled sharks with my harpoons and spears, and trying to escape to gain a victory. And as a shark, I just enjoy being this creature with an objective of protecting its home. It's a different story when you get into one of their many maps alone. There's isolation, no sense of direction, no escape, and sometimes light doesn't even penetrate through. The shifts of darkness when you enter a darkened cavern with a flare being your only source of light. There's moments where your mind begins to believe that there's nothing below you and there's just this endless void. The comfort of the floor is no longer there. There's nothing to hold your feet. There was nothing to distract me from my phobia. It was all there before me in the form of a video game. Even recording the footage of this project, I still had this fear. I knew deep down that there was nothing that could hurt me. There was no enemy sharks to come and grab me and thrash me around. There was nothing environmentally to harm me. At least, that's what I believed. During the process of gathering the footage, I discovered something terrifying. Oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't. It's truly magnificent seeing the worlds that digital confectioners created, the environment, the ambience, just every little aspect of each map, and the design of the movement, the breathing of the character, it's almost sickening to me. And it truly gave me a new appreciation for this game. I fear the bodies, due to the awakened abyss it can present, but on the other hand, I'm in love with space. 
I get lost in the thought of the cosmos. When making this video, someone specifically told me when I pitched the idea and they asked me, would you travel in a rocket ship out to space with no idea what lies ahead of you, or do the same but in a submarine down to the ocean? And without a second thought, I chose space. It is definitely the fear of the unknown which controls this phobia of mine. It's quite interesting and I've also made the connection that it might just be human nature. We don't think about going down, we always think about going up. It's always our goal to keep going and reach toward the stars. We've made it past the atmosphere if we've made it onto the moon and there's more for us to explore with our current goals of reaching Mars and colonizing it. And I think it all circles back to that idea of Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu. I want to thank Mr. Walton for assigning this project and I hope putting my own spin to it is alright. Recorded footage and audio used in this project falls under fair use under the terms of educational usages and were filmed by amazing professional videographers. I hope you enjoy this project and I'd like to thank you for watching.